All right. Hello. Good morning. Day two, the magic rock. Reflect upon your present blessings of which every man has plenty, not on your past misfortunes of which all men have, have some. In the beginning of working with these practices, it takes concentrated days in a row to make gratitude a habit. Anything that reminds you to be grateful is helping you turn your life into gold with gratitude. And that's exactly what this magical practice is about. Lee Bauer presented the Gratitude Rock practice in the secret film and book when he told us the story of a father of a dying child who used the gratitude rock to be grateful for his son's health and his son made a miraculous recovery. Since then, the gratitude rock has been a proven success with many people the world over who have used it for money, healing, and happiness. First, find a rock or a stone, choose a small size that fits in the palm of your hand. Example, it fits in the palm of your hand. And that you can close your fingers around. Choose a rock that is smooth without sharp edges, not too weighty, and that feels good in your hands when you hold it. You can find a magic rock from your garden, if you have one, or from a river bed, creek, ocean, or park. If you don't have easy access to any of these places, then ask your neighbors, family, or friends. You may even have a precious rock or stone already that you can use as your magic rock. When you have found a magic rock, put it by your bedside in a place where you will definitely see it when you go to bed. Clear some space if necessary so that you can easily see your magic rock when you go to bed. If you use an alarm clock, put it next to your alarm clock. Tonight, just before you get into bed, to go to sleep, pick up your magic rock, hold it in your palm of your hand and close your fingers around it. Think back carefully through all of the good things that happened during the day and find the best thing that happened that you're grateful for. Then say the magic words, thank you for the best thing that happened. Return the magic rock to its place by your bed and that's it. Every night for the next 26 days, follow the same magic rock practice. Before you go to sleep, think through the day and find the best thing that happened that day. While holding your rock, magic rock in your hand, be as grateful as you can be for the, that thing and say thank you. Using the rock seems like such a simple thing to do, but through this practice, you will see magical things begin to happen in your life. When you look for the best thing that happened during that day, you will search through many good things that happened. And in the process of searching and then deciding on the best one, you are actually thinking of many things you're grateful for. You will also be ensuring that you go to sleep and wake up in gratitude each day. Count the count your blessings and magic rock practices will ensure that you begin and end each day with a state of gratitude. In fact, they are so powerful that together they would change your life in a few months. But this book is designed to change your life really fast through an abundance of magical practices. Because gratitude is magnetic and attracts more things to be grateful for, the concentration of the gratitude over 28 days will intensify the mag magnetic force of your gratitude. When you have a strong magnetic force of gratitude, like magic, you will automatically mag magnetize everything you want and need to you. Magic reminder, be sure to read tomorrow's magical practice sometime today, as you will need to collect some photographs before you begin. So, Make sure that you pick something that you're going to notice and don't skip this step because the point of all of these practices is to help 
with repetition. The more gratitude and more repetition you do gratitude, the more you reprogram your subconscious mind. And when you reprogram your subconscious mind, the more your results change because it becomes an, an autopilot habit, an automatic habit that you don't have to think about. It's just something that you default to. So just like a plane has an autopilot, your subconscious mind is programmed with all kinds of sometimes negative programming. So we want to simplify this. So this is going to be one of the daily practices that we continue to do in the abundance code um, group on Facebook. And uh, I want you to really pick a, a rock that motivates you, um, one that you are going to notice and put it in a place, even if it has to be in the middle of your bed so that you, you go out, um, find something that's going to, and set a reminder on your phone. Sometimes we need to have reminders to do um, the gratitude practice. So you will have the prompts in the guides in the, in the group daily to, to post your three things that you're grateful for. Um, and why be sure to include why and there's also the the paradigm slash um, affirmations accountability so this group is all about accountability and um, helping us to really truly create the results that we want and this is going to take writing or typing in repetition for the next 90 days well for uh, most of us it's 60 days because we've already done 28 almost 30 now so um, we still have 60 days left to really create a powerful habit. So we're not just beginning to reprogram our subconscious mind. We're creating an automatic habit that absolutely is ingrained in us. So this is a very trans transformational uh, manifestation challenge that we are doing and we will continue to move into other ones. So that's day two.